You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. I'm Sarah Connor, and you're watching Life and Style with Sarah. On tonight's show, we're talking about the West Hartford Garden Club, their spring tour, and the many things they do for our community. My guests this evening are Suzanne Sayers and Sheila Levine. They are both members of the Garden Club, and they're going to share with us all of the things that they do that we see and some of the things that we don't see um, around town. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, to nice, nice to be here. So the Garden Club has been around since 1931. Yeah, I haven't yeah. been a member that long, but yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> I didn't, wasn't applying that. But it's been around for a long time doing yeah. a lot of things around town, and one of those things being the garden tour. Right. So tell me a little bit about the garden tour. When is it? How does one go? What, do you, what can you expect? Sheila, do you want to? The garden tour has been offered every other year for the past, oh, probably 30 years. Does that sound about right? Probably. And what you do, you purchase tickets for $15 each, and then you're free to roam about mm -hmm. four gardens within the town that have been hand-selected by garden tour members as being really exceptional gardens. Um, the garden club tries to um, choose a variety of different gardens mm -hmm. that are representative of gardens here in West Hartford. So some gardens might be shade gardens, some gardens might be sunny gardens, but the one thing that people who do go through the tour will see they will see what plants grow and thrive here in West Hartford. While it's lovely to go into the garden center and choose plants, mm -hmm. sometimes you choose a plant, you put it in the ground, and it perishes, mm -hmm. and you wonder why, and you've spent all of this money. The nice thing about going to the garden tour is you go in, and the members, the, um, the, the people on tour have planted these plants, mm -hmm. and they thrive here in West Hartford, or they know little secrets to make them thrive, mm -hmm. which they're happy to show and share with those that walk through the garden tour. Okay. And there are how many houses this year? There are four houses four. Okay. and the Noah Webster house. The Noah Webster house will be selling tickets and um, there's also an herb garden and a perennial garden there at the Noah Webster house that was, that's really been planted and revived by the West Hartford. And maintained. And maintained by the West Hartford um, Garden Club. So um, right. four houses plus the Noah mm -hmm. Webster house. And I was looking at the list of the, um, of the different houses on the tour, some very beautiful descriptions of, mm -hmm. of the different properties. And I guess the theme for the tour is memory, uh, sometimes sort of memories. So things, you know, uh, old, old traditional plants and then some new kind of new outdoor living spaces, family patios, pool areas, but then also... I think one of the houses, um, it says, has a very um, structured, uh, formal garden area. Yeah, some will be formal. Yeah, so you can very kind different. of see a little bit of everything if you yeah. want something more formal versus right. casual. Yeah, very diverse mix every and year. And they're titling it Memories in the Garden because... Memories in the Garden, thank you. <laughs> every family wants to create their own memories. Mm -hmm. And as you walk about your own yard, you look in certain places and something will remind you of your grandmother for mm -hmm. perhaps a special rose. Something will remind you of your child, mm -hmm. something maybe they brought you a plant and it's now multiplied and taken over an area. So definitely all of the yards and gardens we have here in West Hartford evoke certain memories for everybody. Mm -hmm. And um, it's what makes West Hartford so special. And um, the homeowners just love to share what they've done. That's yeah, and I, I went on the tour. I've been on the tour a few times, and um, it really is amazing. You go into these houses that you drive by every day, and you get behind and see what the gardens look like, and they're right. just beautiful and phenomenal. And you can get lots of great ideas, like you said, things that grow in the shade, things that need sunlight, pairings of plants. I think mm -hmm. that's where I struggled. Um, so, and some of them have uh, architectural features and hardscape, like koi ponds. Right. And, 
art. Any patios, right, archways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every garden stone walls. should have some sort of focal point. We have mm -hmm. a koi pond in our house. We put in a koi pond. We, we're on a hill, mm -hmm. and so we actually have two ponds, and we have a little stream that runs through, oh, mm. and the stream does a phenomenal job of blocking out the sounds of traffic because, as oh, you know, here in West yes. Hartford, so many of our it's houses are close together. Mm -hmm. And maybe you don't have a babbling brook in your backyard, but you could put in a koi mm -hmm. pond. So these are some of the ideas that you can pick up by walking around other people's backyards and seeing what they've done. Yeah, that's great. And um, so you can get tickets. I know online there's more information about getting tickets at the West Hartford Garden Club org. That's the right. website, right? And the discounted right? rate right now is fifteen dollars, but tickets mm -hmm. are twenty dollars. So if you get them before May twentieth, they're it's 15. fifteen. Otherwise, the day of the tour after May twentieth, they will be twenty dollars. So if you show up the at the door, purchase. or if you know a Garden Club member, we all have some tickets on hand that we can sell as well oh, great. at okay. the discounted rate. So seek out your so Garden I have Club four, member. If you know me. <laughs> 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 there are approximately, there are somewhere between 75 and 100 garden club members at any given right. time. Okay. And everybody so you should has be able to find someone. At least, <laughs> at least four tickets in their possession that, um, and if they're out of tickets, they'd be happy to get more tickets. the website is a great, tickets. yeah, the website is a great source. It has to an go email to. and a yes, phone number. Absolutely, um, and a phone number for sure. And it's especially good them. if you can get them before <laughs> May 20th, and if you can't get them after May 20th, it's they'll not be available the, the you can still of, show up. Right. Yes. You can still right. show yeah. up. Right. Um, I know. Show up I, at the Noah Webster House. That you won't know where the gardens are, but if you show up at the Noah Webster House, they would have tickets that okay. day. Okay. Great. Yes. And if you get them early, it's like I you had mentioned it's a good Mother's Day gift, mm -hmm. which I did one year. My mom and I went around. And actually, That's we visited good, yeah. your garden. Yes, you did. So what is it like <laughs> in having <laughs> in the rain? It is rain or shine. We didn't mention that. It, it is rain or shine. And truly, they mean it. It is rain or shine. Um, <laughs> what is it like having, how do, I've been to your garden, I know it's gorgeous. Yeah, so talk you. about the work it takes to be, how, what's the selection process? How do you get your garden to be <laughs> garden tour worthy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a selection committee, a nominating committee, so mm -hmm. they come around and look at various gardens, ask the homeowners if they're available, things like that. And yeah, they're looking for a variety you know, things in the garden, plants that are alive, and I suppose <laughs> not too many weeds, you know, right. areas that are presentable. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot, even though it rained that day. Mm -hmm. It was fine. I think my plants looked even better yes, a little bit. You know, yeah, the, exactly, yeah. absolutely. And we had little moments of um, little breaks in the weather. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of work. Um, but, you know, gardeners are passionate people that love to be out mm -hmm. there. And yeah. I don't know any gardener who does not want to talk about flowers and right. shrubs and plants in their own garden. So I was out there the whole time, really, just talking to people. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. I would do it again, you know, maybe someday. Yeah. But, uh, well, it was yeah. your garden. Is, yeah, it's fun. Your garden's my inspiration. No, well, so. yeah. <laughs> and you have a lot of, um, of those, you know, like little hardscape pieces. I and, do. And stat not, not statue. Well, I guess maybe some I statuary. little pieces, like, yeah. yeah. And I have a small pieces. garden, and, and two mm -hmm. years ago there were a lot of smaller gardens featured. I mm -hmm. mean, I only have a quarter of an acre, and people are often surprised when they see my garden because I really plant a lot mm -hmm. um, and have a lot of separate gardens. But that's why it's interesting to see different people's gardens. You might go to a garden this year that has two acres mm -hmm. and a garden that's a quarter of an acre, half an acre. Right. And, uh, very different, but you can see what someone can do in such a small space, right? Which, which I really like. Well, I enjoyed it. So Thank the you. garden tour isn't just necessarily for fun and to give ideas; it's to raise money. Yes. So talk about where the money goes. What 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 happens with all the money that's raised uh, on the garden tour? Well, we do have a civic project committee. Um, so through the civic projects, there are various places throughout town mm -hmm. where we plant. Um, many, many things. And I, we talked about this earlier that I don't know if a lot of homeowners and taxpayers realize that a lot of the plants that we see throughout town are actually paid for through the garden club. For example, um, Fern and Mountain Road Triangle, that's mm -hmm. a newly planted area within the last couple of years with bulbs and shrubs. Mm -hmm. The tree came down during Hurricane Sandy. The tree came down during mm -hmm. Sandy, exactly. Okay. Pretty much so decimated, Absolutely. Right? So they rebuilt it up 100%. Um, we do the town hall plantings in front of the, the, um, the containers right out in front of the main mm -hmm. entrance. Right now there's bulbs coming up and they smell yeah, wonderful. That's so thank right. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're active members in the Butler McCook Garden in Hartford which is a beautiful garden if anybody can get out there to see if you work in downtown Hartford or just have a chance to walk through there. It's gorgeous. And, and anybody can just, you don't have to pay to go into the gardens. Anyone can go in the back and see those. Mm -hmm. 
and that is definitely West Hartford Garden Club members. And we, we work, we all volunteer in the garden as members. We actually um, commit to doing that. And the Noah Webster House Gardens, mm -hmm. like you said earlier, Sheila, that um, members plant that and maintain those gardens as well. Now, do you know as part of that making sure that they're historically accurate, what's there is... They do, I know that they do a lot of research. I'm not on that mm -hmm. committee, but right. the, the women who are on that committee have been on it for many years, um, and mm -hmm. yes, they definitely do and a lot of research about with that. The Noah Webster same with Butler House. McCook. Yeah. I mean, it really is the same, and we have mm -hmm. roses at Butler McCook that have been there, roses that are, oh, at least 80 years old, wow. probably even older, that they've really maintained, hmm. so... That's We've great. also done the planters at Conard High School and mm -hmm. Hall, Hall High, High School, school. Mm -hmm. and all of the plantings, the roses. In front and of Sedgwick and Middle so School. In front of Sedgwick Middle School. Mm -hmm. So I think if you drive around town, there probably isn't an area of town that hasn't at some point or another that been um, the recipient yeah. or, or benefactor of um, of, of West Harper Club. Mm -hmm. right. Club and tours. scholarship scholarship funds we talked about earlier as well that we do offer scholarships through the Federated Clubs of America and these are scholarships for a, a, a student entering college that will be studying in the horticultural field and there are scholarships annually that we offer mm -hmm. for that as well. So the gardens around town, so I'm thinking um, there's the town green Right, where the big sign, right. where the different events happen, you see that yes. sign and you mm -hmm. drive through that intersection at Farmington and there are all the plantings around right. there. So we that did was that. Garden Club, Yes, right? that was Garden, garden Club, Club um, a few years ago. So the Garden Club install, d designs, installs yes. the plants mm -hmm. and then does the town maintain it or does the Garden Club maintain it? The town maintains those. It's been That's a, part of a combination yeah. of effort. Um, the town can only do so much and when mm -hmm. that falls uh, short, mm -hmm. the Garden Club members will take a look and chip in and, right. and help out there as well. But Maybe trim some things or mm -hmm. weed or whatever right. might mm -hmm. need to be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sedgwick was done recently, I think in the last couple of years or mm -hmm. last four yeah, years or so. so. That's great. And then there are some other things, like I know, um, I was looking at this tremendous list of all these civic projects that you do, and there's the Hillcrest Area yes. Neighborhood Outreach Center, which is in right. kind of in the Elmwood area. Right. Um, the ent entire front garden was redone. That's right. By the Garden Club, right? And that, right. that was a big project. Mm -hmm. And it looks beautiful. It does. Yeah. So it does. I think I do think that um, people who are not in the Garden Club just take it, take it for granted that the town is doing a lot of these right. things. Right, they just don't realize. Yeah, I think we assume. Yeah, and the entrance to, to um, town where it says, Welcome to West Hartford on Park Road, that's Garden Club as well, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I, I believe, so. believe so. Yeah. It's so many, so many you can't keep track, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> there are a lot of areas. But the town, um, the Garden Club not only works with the plantings and the scholarship mm -hmm. committees, we do things with junior gardeners junior and gardeners, we do right. things with the elders as well. So throughout okay. all the ages, um, mm -hmm. the, the proceeds from the garden tour money, uh, fr from the garden tour is very important to the community yes. um, in terms of helping out so young, the, old. And the junior gardeners, that's the Hillcrest Area right. Center, you do the junior gardener program? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like a homework center after school program where these kids who may not have a garden of their own, mm -hmm. they live in an area where it's probably more of an apartment type of mm -hmm. situation. Um, so yeah, they're taught how to garden. Mm -hmm. They um, are also doing other activities that are, you garden know, teaching themed, them skills, garden, garden themed, mm -hmm. teaching them skills that they might not otherwise have mm -hmm. or have an opportunity to really do. And there's a senior center, you, you were mentioning the senior programs, the uh, Alfred E. Olant and Elm Grove Housing Development. I, I think we have some pictures of some festive flower arranging. Maybe flower arranging mm -hmm. with the seniors there. Activities they love it. On. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I that's think Judy great. Does that. Yeah. That's and a I, great I do think it's important for people to realize that the Garden Club is, it's not just your own personal garden. It's no. doing outreach to the community and helping beautify the community. Yeah. And we're a real working garden club. And we, we, mm -hmm. we do have our meetings monthly and we have different speakers come in, but we all as long as we're physically able to, we really do get our hands dirty, not just in our own gardens, but mm -hmm. um, throughout town as well. Now, there are some other programs that you do in your meetings, things like um, if someone wanted to be a member. Well, first of all, if now you're inspired to be a Garden Club mm -hmm. member, mm -hmm. how do you do that? <laughs> you contact the West Hartford Garden Club, okay. any, any of the members. Are you there? You can some, just show up at a meeting. You can I mean, show. that's really what I did. So I, the meetings are open? The meetings are open meetings, unless it says closed but in the newspaper, but typically almost always they're open. They're usually the first Thursday of every month. Okay. Sometimes it has to be the second Thursday, depending on when that falls within the month. Um, it's a $10 guest fee mm -hmm. but yes guests are always welcome that's really how I found out okay. I went to a few meetings and you know 
and thought about whether or not it was something that I wanted to do, and I thought the programs were really interesting. The ten dollar guest fee covers tea. Uh, yeah, there's a light sandwiches, lunch. Sandwiches, a light lunch, um, desserts, mm -hmm. uh, and you have a wonderful speaker. And then we as have well. a one hour program. So right. talk about the programs. What types of programs do you bring? Who well. speakers do you bring? Well, I happen to be the program chair for the oh, last two okay. years. So, so we have the expert. Well, so tell us <laughs> well, what's coming up. So, well, I can't tell you what's coming up, but I can tell you what we've been doing okay. um, this year at least. So we really try, try to get a wide range of speakers to come in. Um, we have conservation and environmental speakers every year come in, talk mm -hmm. about different issues, whether it's about organic gardening, um, water issues, maybe beekeeping. We always have landscape designers come every year as well. We have floral designers come twice a year. They do floral arrangements and we auction them off as okay. well. Sometimes yeah. there's hands-on workshops. Um, we did garden photography recently, learning how to photograph oh. um, our garden. Actually, that's coming up, the garden photography. That will end our um, season in May. So if anybody wants to come to that, we have okay. a really wonderful so the May meeting. garden photographer okay. coming. Yes, yeah, so but we've had photography in the past as well. So we really try to have a diverse mix of, of speakers come. Speakers. We've had some wonderful people. Tova Martin was probably one of my favorite, and she's a really well-known gardener, and um, she did a fantastic program. So we've been really fortunate to get some great speakers, great programs. And you can also learn. Um, so I, for full disclosure, I was in the Garden Club for a couple of years. So I, I know a little bit about what goes on. I don't have a long history of it, but I know there, one of the things that I found really fun was the flower arranging. Mm -hmm. So if you're not into digging out in the dirt, you can learn yes, flower right. arranging techniques as well, which yes. is kind of fun. Definitely. We will have one of those meetings coming up too at some Susie, point next Susie, I mentioned year. that we're a working garden club, mm -hmm. but there are, there are people from all different walks. There are some mm -hmm. people who really just love the floral design, mm -hmm. and there are some people who really want to learn about planting, and there are some people who are more of designers. Mm -hmm. it, even though um, it's a working garden club, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it, anything to do with flowers, anything to do with plants. Yeah. There are people who just mm -hmm. like roses, there are people who just like bonsai trees. It's right. really a, a very diverse group diverse of group. individuals. Great. Now something I read recently um, that the Garden Club has, has been doing is this elm tree initiative. So according to the article, the Garden Club helped to procure a hundred elm trees for the town of West Hartford right. to replace the ones that died in the I guess in the 80s, no, the 60s, the 60s, all the elm trees from the Dutch elm disease. Right. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? What Many the goals people don't of that even project are? Maybe you can't even recall what an elm tree looks like, but the elm trees were these beautiful vase-like trees that just came up from the ground and shaded the streets, and um, places like New Haven were named the Elm City, and then we have the Elmwood section of town. People might wonder, why was it called Elmwood? Well, at one time, West Hartford, West Hartford was filled with elm trees. Mm -hmm. The trees died off in the 60s because of this blight, but now through modern technology, they become, they've um, manufactured, what would you use, what term would you say? Um, uh, maybe genetically. Genetically uh, altered the elm trees so that we can plant them so again. Same. Right. Yeah, they have many, many techniques now they can use with plants when they're crossbreeding just to make them um, disease and yeah, much pest more resistant. right, much more hardy and mm -hmm. yeah, disease resistant. So somehow they're disease resistant, right? To the Dutch more so than more they so. certainly were in the right. past. Yeah. And so West Hartford Garden Club has worked together with um, was it State of Connecticut? I don't quite recall, but we have 100 yeah, trees, okay. and they will be planted here in West Hartford in a variety of different locations. So we're hoping yeah. to bring back the beauty um, that once of the elm trees yeah. of the elm tree. That's great. And they're being, you know, planted probably as we speak. I know one was delivered this morning at the Butler McCook House. So okay. I think some have already been planted throughout town. Mm -hmm. And if not, they're certainly in the process of doing that. And mm -hmm. probably by the end of May, they should all be planted. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. So yeah. maybe Elmwood will be back to. I'm looking yeah, forward yeah. to yeah. seeing yeah. the elm tree. So elm if you tree see glory. these trees being planted around town, it's probably the garden club. That the garden club that's doing that. these. Yeah, that's great. So let's um, talk one more time about how um, we ca we can get tickets to the garden club. Okay, you can go to our website, which is the West Hartford Garden West Hartford Club. Garden, garden club dot org. Okay. Uh, tickets are $20, but they're discounted right now up until May 20th for $15. Okay. 
Um, you can, if on the website, they will give you further instructions how to do that. If you know a garden club member, we have tickets as well that we okay. would be happy to sell. You can get tickets the day of the tour as well, but I do suggest getting them ahead of time so okay. that you make sure you have your and tickets. And it's rain or shine. It's rain or shine. Rain or shine. Yes. So bring your, bring your uh, rain boots and an umbrella if it's raining, <laughs> right. but we'll cross our fingers. Right. And it's That's fantastic anyway. Yes. You know, I was out in the rain. For I went in the six rain. Hours, and it was still great. My mom went still, with me. In the yeah. rain. It was great. <laughs> and it was still a lot of fun. It was great. For sure. And I don't know if we but actually mentioned the date. It's June seventh. June seventh, right? June From ten a.m. to four p.m. And once you get your ticket, it will have all of the um, addresses on, and you'll get a map mm -hmm. and a program. And you can go any order you want, but you can spread it out throughout the day. Mm -hmm. To just drive do a around couple in the morning, go get locations. lunch, do a couple, yep, go okay. in a couple in And one other thing we didn't mention is there's a plant sale yes, associated with the it. the Noah Webster right. House. All of the members of the Garden Club have grown many perennials. The perennials multiply, they thrive in this climate, and um, we'll hand dig our plants and provide the best of specimens. Mm -hmm. And those are available from 10 to well, if you're interested in plants, it's come early. Right. Uh, the best yeah. selection right. is usually 10 to 12, mm -hmm. um, but the plants will be sold throughout the garden tour 10 to 4. And they are being sold at the Noah Webster House? Yes. And they're being sold at the Noah, at the Noah Webster, Webster House, House. on okay. South Main Street. And then Street. you can also go see their gardens as well while you're there. Right. So that's part of the tour. Great. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Well, thank you for Thanks having for us. all the good work that the club does around town. And all the pretty flowers. If it gets warm enough, they'll start, they'll start <laughs> we'll blooming. We go out and enjoy our right? gardens. <laughs> we all enjoy it. We all enjoy it. Thank you. I'm Sarah Thanks. Connor. You've been watching Life and Style with Sarah. Don't forget to tune in next month to a brand new episode.